Welcome you all. My name is Stanley Chitera, Deputy Registrar Academic of Bindura University of Science Education. As new students, I'm going to present to you some important information on registration, examinations, conduct of lessons, and related issues. I will start with the regulations. All activities at the university are regulated by regulations which are derived from the University Act and its ordinances. Students are governed by general academic regulations in their studies. They are also governed by faculty regulations and program regulations. You can get a copy of the program regulations and faculty regulations from your departments. As for the general academic regulations, you download the prospectus which is on the invest website. Read through these regulations because they are important. I go on to registration. Students must register at the beginning of each semester all their courses which they intend to study for that semester. Failure to do so would mean that the student is unable to write examinations in those courses because if one is not registered for a particular course, then the student cannot write examinations in that course. The periods of registration are stipulated in the academic calendar, which is found on the website. Students are strongly advised to adhere to these registration deadlines because one is only a bona fide student if they are registered. And they cannot access university facilities and resources such as the library, and e-learning if they are not registered. Therefore, we request that students must register during the prescribed time and make sure that they have got access to these resources. No registration is done in a retrospect that is backwards and no registration is done uh, for the future or the next semester in a current semester. You can only register for one semester during one session at a particular time. Failure to register within a given period means that you have missed that semester and you'll be uh, requested to withdraw uh, temporarily from the university. This withdrawal is called deferment. And when you defer, you must do it officially by completing forms and doing the processes which are, required, which are, are related to this deferment process. Otherwise, we will presume that you have withdrawn from the university. The academic calendar is found on the website and a student is required to check the accuracy of the registration uh, material which he or she has inputted before the onset of the examinations because it forms the basis of their examination timetables. I then go on to um, conduct of lectures. Students are required to attend all lectures, tutorials, seminars, workshops, and also to carry out practicals and field work as prescribed in um, their program or course. Students who do not attend lectures or absent themselves are not given special tuition. And when one is absent for more than 72 hours due to illness, one is required to notify the department and to produce a medical certificate to that effect. 
in the conduct of um, lectures, students should note that there is a minimum requirement attainment of coursework, which is 40%, for them to, uh, to attend examinations. Which means if your coursework is less than 40%, you have automatically failed and you will not attend, uh, you will not attend the examination for that particular uh, course. It is also important to note that there is a maximum given period for a student to complete a program, which we call the residence period. If you don't complete your program within the stipulated residence period, your studies will be terminated and you go home empty-handed with no certificate. Despite the fact that um, you might have deferred, the residence period does not change and you must complete your studies within that period. I then I'll go on to examinations. Examinations are held at the, at the end of each semester and examinations timetables are published on the website and on each individual student's portal. Candidates must make sure that they go through the examination timetable and ensure that all their courses are timetable and they report any anomalies to their departments. And students must take note that they cannot sit for an examination in a course which they did not register. This is a serious misconduct and students will have to appear before a disciplinary hearing if they do such an omission. Examinations are important and as such, during the examination period we expect students to be on campus and to attend to all examinations in time and to prepare also in time. Timetables for examinations can vary, but normally these are written at the end of each semester. Examination regulations are found on the website. Please download them, read them to make sure that you are familiar with them. As the academic registry section, for all your correspondences, we require that you put in or indicate your student registration number. For admission and registration issues, you can email on admissions at buse.ac.zw or phone zero double six two one zero seven five three four or zero seven one two eight four two seven two one the offices for admission and registration are at the old university campus main administration block ground floor windows seven to eight for examinations, you can email examinations at buse.ac.zw or phone 066-210-6272. Examinations offices are found in the commerce block at the old site main campus on the ground floor. We wish you successful studies at Bindura University of Science Education. Thank you.